All right, hey guys. Today I'm doing my re um, what's this called? Remake, I guess, of the Counter Strike How to Make Your Own Guns basic tutorial of how to make just basic colors. There's an easy way to open up the console if you can't open it in game for whatever reason. Maybe you're using a laptop, or maybe the key is not working for you. All you have to do is just click here, right click, properties, go to set launcher options, and all you want to do is I have some fancy stuff in here. All you need is the minus console. So you can have the rest blank if you want, just have minus console in there. No space in between minus and console, just have minus console. Press OK. And then just go ahead and launch the game. We'll switch over to that now. And I left my volume up too loud. Alright, yes, as you can see from the menu, I have been deranked hardcore. I haven't played this game in a while, so I need to get back into it. Anyway, um, yeah, we gotta open up the console. Like, if you first open up the game and you enable the console thing, it will pop up as you saw here. But the way you enable it, if you want to do it the manual way, is just go to Options, Game Settings, and here you want to have Enable Developer Console set to Yes. Then when you go back, just press the button that was on that key. Boom. And look, console's open. Alright, so before we get started, one thing you should know is you can't test out these skins in game. These are just for the workshop. If Valve picks them, then they can be put in the game. You can make money off it. If Valve doesn't pick them, then you can't test out your skin outside the workshop. Alright, now that we have that settled, let's get started. You want in this console we'll type in W O and it will have two things. Workshop start that yeah, workbench and work start workshop start Mac map there. You want to click the second one which is workshop underscore workbench. It'll bring it up. And then you just press enter and it opens up the workbench. Alright, so there are a bunch of different types you can use here, but only some of them will work without a pattern. If you're to ask for a pattern, you'll want to watch this, you'll want to watch the second video in this series about how to make patterns. But there are a few ones you can use without patterns. Go ahead and get started. Solid color. This is definitely one of them. This is a pretty stupid looking AK if I do say so myself. Press inspect to look at it. You can pause it. Let's go change some of these colors. Let's make a Nerf AK. That would be pretty fun. I don't know if I can say Nerf in the title, but I'm pretty sure that's copyright. Yeah, it definitely is. Alright, orange. And I think this is the second color. It doesn't tell you what corresponds to what, so you just kind of have to look and see and kind of guess, which is pretty stupid, but. That's not orange enough. You need a more bold orange. What are the colors of Nerf guns? I don't even remember. Let me open up my web browser real quick. You can't see it. Alarm clock. Alright, so it's mostly gray, orange, yellow, and sometimes blue. So we just want to make it look as silly as possible. Just some dark gray in there. Let's change the wear to factory new. Can't really get the shade. Here we go. Bunch of different options. We that's better. I think this is a magazine. Okay, apparently it wasn't the magazine, it's just some of the internal parts. So this should be whatever's left. Let's make this yellow too. And there we go. We have our extremely cheap looking AK-47. So you can inspect it. You can click reload to see what it looks like. And let's change that last 
what was the other orange one we did? I think it's this one. Let's change this to blue. And give it an extremely toy look. Mm, that doesn't really fit. Boom. Alright. There are some other types. I think holographic might need a pattern, but I'm not sure. When you try to submit it, it will tell you if you need a pattern or not. Spray paint single color. I'm pretty sure this one actually needs a pattern. So you pick one you like. I like this one the best. You can even change the gun you're working on down here. Turn on stat track and name tag. Let's switch it to the off. Boom. This doesn't support as many colors as you can see here. So let's just go back to spray paint and change it back to something that supports more colors like the AK. Okay, spray paint single color. Solid color. That should be good. And now let's go ahead and submit it. What should we save it as? We can't call it um, Nerf because we'll probably get sued, so we'll call it Foam Dart Launcher. And we'll want to put it in some place we can actually find, so I'm going to put it in my AMD folder. That's where all the cool stuff goes, right? That actually probably be better for the scout calling a foam dart line because it doesn't do any damage just for the scout. SSG08. And there we go. Actually looks kinda like a nerf gun. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna do this one instead. See if we can color anything with this. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Make it orange though it fits better. An orange sandwich. Change one of these. See what it affects. Doesn't actually look like anything. Alright. Like I said, each gun has a different um different positioning for where the colors go. So you can't just pick one and make it work for everything. Alright, looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and save this. I'm gonna save it over my other one. I want to submit this instead. Boom darts. Alright, now we're gonna switch back over to the um, screen recording because you can't submit it in game. Oh yeah, you can. I forgot. Sorry. Just click submit. And here we go. Now we have to give it a title. And the description. And we need some image files. We need a um, preview image for it. So we're going to go take a screenshot by pressing the print screen key when in game. Alright, let's click play and find a good position for it.
Hmm. Alright, that looks good. I'm going to hit Alt Print Screen so I can only capture this window and see if that works. Microsoft Paint because it's quick and easy. Control V for paste. And it captured only this window. Now we want only a selection of it. So let's copy using the highlight tool. Control C. Now I'm just going to delete everything so it's a lot faster. If this is already on a clipboard, make it small so it pastes in the right size. And boom, done. Let's see what file format they want. Been a while since I submitted anything. They want a JPEG, so let's do that. Save as. Uh, let's put it in my stickers folder. So that's easy for me to get. So you can put it wherever you want. Make sure the type is JPEG. I'm going to call it um, darts. All right. Now, oh. Should have actually the easiest way to type it in here since you don't want to browse through all this stuff is go back to the folder where you saved it, double click in the address bar, press highlight it and press control C to copy. Go back here, control V to paste, then it takes you to your folder, double click, and boom, you're ready to go. And now all you have to do is just agree to the terms and publish. Type in I understand. That's okay. And it'll say publishing file, please wait. And it will take us to this website. Hey, you can see all the pages I'm on. Hello. And there we go. There's our image for whatever reason it's not very good quality, but could have used something better. And now we want to finalize it. So you have to be signed into Steam. Let me just do that off screen so you don't see how long my password is and try to brute force it. Actually, an easier way if you don't want to have to sign into your account again, you can actually go to that through Steam. So let's go ahead and open Steam. Uh, my phone keeps going off. I should have silenced it beforehand. Go to the, your profile, actually. This is the fastest way to do it. Profile, and it will show you that you just recently uploaded something. Just go ahead and click on it. And this is not the best window to be in. Open it. Okay, we can't open it full screen. Whatever. If you want to give percentages to someone else, you can say add another user, but I made this all by myself. So I'm going to just click finalize. You can't change it ever, so make sure you're sure. And boom. Wait, no, I, I said I'm sure. Finalize. Okay. There we go. For whatever reason, it didn't work the first time. All right. Now, if you want, you can add more pictures if you want to, but I'm not going to. Let's see what type it takes. Uh, you can add whatever file type you you want I think like JPEGs, BMPs, whatever. And that's it. It's pretty easy. I made this video a little bit too long to show you my entire design. I'm sorry about that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. The first one I was not actually eating. Everyone kept saying I was eating and that's why I had to remake the video. I was actually had a cold so I had a cough drop and it sounded like I was eating. Sorry about that. I hope this video was easier for you guys to understand. Again, sorry about it being a little bit long but we got through everything we needed to so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Also, version uh, at part three may be coming eventually, but it's just really, really complicated, so I'm going to have to do a lot of research. So I can't promise it's going to be a part three, but this is at least a remake of part one, so you guys can actually, you know, do it without having to listen to me sound like I'm eating, which I'm actually not. Anyway, that's all I need to say, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.